prior to find the, founding the Knobs Company, I was actually an attorney. Mm -hmm. I was a oh, litigator wow. for the Natural Resources Defense Council. And I really loved it. I was doing clean water, clean air, ecosystems preservation stuff, endangered species stuff. But I was young and single, and I looked at the lifestyles of the attorneys I was working with. And as much as I loved the work, I didn't want my life to look like theirs. Mm. I knew I wanted something else. I didn't want to be working such incredibly long days. Building a family was really important to me. And I knew that the hours I was putting in, they just weren't going to work once I transitioned to my life. So I also wanted to pick up and move to Israel. I'm having this call right now from Jerusalem, Israel, even though I'm from America. So having an e-commerce business gave me tremendous flexibility. I tend to put in between a half hour and an hour a day into my business, which has been an incredible blessing. It allows me to live where I want to live. It allows me to spend my time writing books, which I really believe in. And the business does its thing. I literally sell products to people I've never met in a country I don't live in while I'm asleep. So it's been an <laughs> absolute blessing for me. And that's, it's, that's pretty much the dream, right? Like you, you, when you, so, so essentially what you're saying is you, you approach it from a lifestyle perspective. You, 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 you were in a situation and you try to anticipate what, what that's going to look like 20 years and the trajectory you were in. You were like, nope, that's really not for me. I need to change. And e-commerce was sort of like your ticket out of it. Exactly. Nice. Um, so, so tell us about sort of that, um, where did this idea come from? Because he, I mean, like as a concept, I think anyone, anybody listening in would think, hey, that sounds great. I've got my own dreams. I want to go, I don't know, move to Thailand or what have you. But I mean, the, the real, like, I mean, what I'm trying to say is the way you described it makes it sound so really easy, but I'm sure there's a lot of hard work that went behind it. You don't just suddenly wake up and you, you get to work only an hour a day on your business, right? So what was that journey like? Um, what did you do? How did you come up with the idea and how did you execute it? So I want to be very clear that I did not come up with the idea. Okay. The idea presented itself to me. And for me, I had sold so many different products online. I experimented with this, I experimented with that. And it was really just playing with lots of different niches. And through doing so, I learned a lot of skills about internet marketing. And ultimately I wound up getting into this. I'm literally the story is I started off selling patio furniture. Mm -hmm. And I was doing really well on this one very rustic brand of patio furniture. And at a certain point, I went to visit the factory and they told me, you know what? You should sell our indoor furniture too. We make a really good line of rustic beds. Mm -hmm. So I started selling the beds. And at a certain point, I noticed I got a few big orders for people who were looking for them for mountain cabins because they were very rustic cedar log beds. So people were buying them for their cabins up in the mountains. So I said, mm -hmm. huh, maybe I should be advertising these to cabin owners. Maybe that would be a good idea. So I went online and I researched cabin owners okay. and cabin didn't come up very high, but kitchen cabinets did. So I started selling kitchen cabinets instead. And, but my kitchen cabinets didn't have knobs. So I wound up adding knobs to go with my kitchen cabinets, which I had just really stumbled upon. This is one of many dozens of different products I've sold over the years. And it's kind of where I found my niche personally. Mm. But because of this, I really encourage people when they want to start off in e-commerce, not to really sit and brainstorm and say, okay, where can I make the most money? That can come later. What I encourage people to do first, since there are so many skills to learn and the learning curve, I don't really expect people to make money right out of the gates with their first product. So I encourage people to start with a product that you either have a tremendous passion about because you're going to be spending a lot of time working on that or you have a tremendous amount of knowledge in. So it could be that you've worked in a certain area, you have a lot of knowledge in a certain product and that will make it easier. You won't have so much research. You've already got this expertise going in. So I tend to encourage people to make your first website, your first e-commerce stab, something you're not worried about earning money on. Look at it just as a learning experience because you're going to learn a ton. Mm. Once you've learned what works and what doesn't work, that's when you start saying, okay, now I kind of see better what I should go into. But don't try to go into a product you know nothing about and have no passion about and try to make that work right out of the gates because you're, you've got that huge amount of learning you need to do and it's not going to be enjoyable because you could care less about what you're selling 
and you're gonna have to really dig deep to learn about it because you don't know anything about what you're selling. So start with a passion or with an area of expertise and make your first website just, it's a game, it's fun. You're just there to learn and give yourself a couple months of just learning. And then at that point, you could start to say, okay, now I'm starting to get a sense of, what I, of how this game works. I get a sense of what I can sell and what I can't sell. Now, what is a product that I can really maybe hit it big in? Because right. for me, I never, ever conceived of selling the products I'm selling. And over the years, I've, I've, again, I've tried many things. I have my ability to predict what would work and what wouldn't is basically zero. That I, I have found almost no relationship, no correlation between what I thought would succeed and what I've been able to succeed in. So don't try <laughs> to be too smart and bright. Try to just go out there and put things up and start selling anything. And learn from there. And once, the more expertise you get, the better decisions you'll make, the better your ability will be to choose the winning products.